now it's time for Humber Reviews with Willy Be a Hobo. Tonight's review Dodgeball, a true underdog story. Oh my god, this is the best moment I've ever seen in my whole life! There were five sentimentals in dodging. Dodge, die, dip, duck, dodge. And an S for spoilers! There's this gym owner named Peter LaFleur who owns a gym along with his fellow buddies and it's not working too well. Average Joe's is an average bust because of the fact that Cobra Man reigns the premium and global gym. Hence the name Cobra Man. No, 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 that's not his name. I know what his name is, and his name is... White Goodman. That's the name of the guy that I'm referring to. Anyways, he owns Global Gym, and he's like the bad guy in this movie. And the, he's determined to take down Average Joe's. But Average Joe's is determined to keep their gym, mama. How will they keep their gym, might you ask? Well, if you read the title of my review, they're going to do it via dodgeball! Seriously, they will form a dodgeball team. At first, they got freaking pummeled by the Girl Scouts. <laughs> How do you lose to girls? <laughs> Until it turns out that they were cheating, so they move on. But they get one of the greatest dodgeball players in the world to be their coach. And by golly, is he hilarious in this effing movie. He teaches the gang the fundamentals of dodgeball. Dodge, dive, dip, dunk, dodge. Seriously, you gotta dodge. Emphasis on dodgeball. If, it, if, if you couldn't dodge, then there's no point in calling it dodgeball. Anyways, they partake in a Las Vegas tournament hosted by ESPN Neo Joe. Which is a made-up TV channel, I know. But in any case... They host a dodgeball tournament. They duke it out with other dodgeball teams and ultimately are destined to face off against the Cobra Clutch that is Globo Jim, who is a perennial dark power that is almighty when it comes to dodgeball. They can pummel anyone in a heartbeat. So, this is your typical David versus Goliath battle in dodgeball. And it looked like early on Goliath was going to reign supreme, but David keeps fighting back and fighting back and fighting back and fighting back, and then ultimately, it comes down to one-on-one -on -one sudden death dodgeball. Meaning one player from each side gets to throw their dodgeball. If he hits the other one, they win. So here's what happens. He puts a fucking blindfold on, Peter LaFleur does, after the fact that he lost his good buddy Patches, who, by the way, is the name of the coach that I mentioned before. He passed away because, well, there's a fucking sign that fell on top of him. Yeah. That bad. So then, Peter LaFleur goes through a depression... He gets inspired by the insurance run, comes back in time for the tournament, and now we fast forward back to the current scene that we're in right now. So he puts on the plane float, and White Goodman's like, you gotta be kidding me. Air Goodman coming at you, except that he, he throws it. It's like Peter LaFleury has a sixth sense or something. The force is strong with him in that ball. Because he downs his ball, then picks up his, and whacks Point Goodman, and they win the tournament! And they win the $50,000 to keep the gym! Except there's one problem. He sold it for like $100,000. But then he put that amount into a bet. And thus he won like $500 million or something like that. And he got his gym back, as well as global gyms. And Average Joe's became the Cinderella story of Dodgeball! Hence the underdog part. And in the end, Peter LaFleur gives an ad for his newly revised Average Joe's Gym. While White Goodman fats himself up because he was trying to go on a diet and, hell, he was kind of having you-know-what with the food. Which is kind of awkward. But he gets fat at the end. He's like, I won that freaking tournament. Freaking Chuck Norris. I Chuck and all this! I, for one, love this movie because this was a hilarious movie and it introduced G and GSN's Dodgeball series. This is Willy B. A Hobo saying, Charge! You got charge! I come out of a 
Cowboy, yeah. Come on, Jane. Come on. I'm trying to form a dance ball team so that way I can win $50,000.